Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Hashem, honors to the elders and apostles, and the men on them uh, regarding this truth and knowledge. The Wadi Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Hashem, for putting the spirit of the elders and apostles and the men regarding this truth, regarding um, the men on down regarding this truth and knowledge. Call Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Hashem, give all praise, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Hashem. Go to uh, some scriptures. Uh, talk a little bit about war, draft, some scriptures. Get a few scriptures relating to war first. A time to love, a time to hate, a time of war, and a time of peace. You're going to see these scriptures be brought out a lot because of the times that we're in. So we're in the times of of of, um, of hate, of division, of war, and not of peace, man. So we're in the times of war, hearing of wars, rumors of wars, hearing actual uh, wars happening, and you also hear rumors of wars relating to uh, more intensify uh, intensification regarding on um, certain nations. Um, threatening other nations, man, to do certain things. For example, using um, um, nuclear armament. So we're in a time of uh, war, man. Matthew's ten and thirty-four. Think not that I come to send peace. So the Lord is not sending peace. I come not to send peace, but the sword. The sword, which is the judgment, the division. Think not that I come to send peace, but I say nay, but rather division. So the Lord is sending that division upon these nations, man. Upon the people. He's sending that by vibrational spirit upon these people, man. For iniquity shall abound, and the love of many shall wax cold. Matthew 24 and 12, man. So the vibrations being set forth of not not um, a, a peace man but the vision the sword and pretty much judgment man Let's continue on Exodus 15 and 3, the Lord Yahweh is his name. The Lord Yahweh is a man of war. The Lord Yahweh is his name. So the Lord is a man of war, man. And he's sending that spirit of that vibration upon the planet, man. Matthews 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. So you're going to hear wars. And you're going to hear rumors of wars. You're going to actually see wars. For example, that Ukraine and Russia. So we in the times of we in the time of war, man. As Ecclesiastes uh, 3 and 8 states. You shall hear hear wars and rumors of wars see ye be not troubled be not troubled be not dismayed for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet these are parts of prophecy that has to continue that has to um, um, a part of prophecy that has to continue man. but the end is not yet because there's still more to come 27 24 and 7 for nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in different places. Famines, shortages of different things. Supply shortages of different things. Scarcity, darth. That's precursors of famine, man. Um, pestilence, which are plagues, man. For many great misery shall happen in the latter times because they walk greatly in pride. Second Ezra's 8 and 50. 
So many miseries are happening. That's part of the judgments. That's part of the calamities. That's part of the plagues that the Lord is sending, man. Because of what? Of pride, man. Pride before destruction of the Holy Spirit before fall, man. So pride is the major component why these judgments are coming upon the earth, man. All these are the beginnings of sorrow. Sorrows goes to lamenting and mourning, man. These are things that's uh, precursively happening. talk a little about some scriptures relating to the things that's to come relating to uh, as you're seeing a lot here speaking of wars and stuff rumors of wars relating to draft which will be uh, a form of a, a, a conscription which would be uh, pretty much a fancy word for draft man you see it here in the Russians with the, um, the draft um, then going to that's going to happen here and I said in previous videos relating to that I'm going to get some scriptures um, let me see Isaiah 3 and uh, Thy men shall fall by the sword, and thy mighty in war, man. So the men are going to fall by the sword because they're going to be in war. They're going to be drafted in the war. They're going to fall by that sword. Sword is judgment, man. 26. And her gate shall lament and mourn. She, being desolate, shall sit upon her ground. So a lot of lamenting and mourning, man. The gates represent that city, man. This chapter relates to specifically relating to the, the judgment or desolation of all um, of both the northern and southern tribe, which is Judah and Jerusalem. Pretty much the things that were, they were going through. But 325 talks about fast forward, it talks about um, um, thy men shall fall by the sword. And the mighty in war, man. So the mighty in war, the ones who are in battle, are gonna fall by that sword. Man. Go to Second Ezra sixteen and thirty-two. Thirty, yeah, thirty-two. I'll start with this. And the earth shall be laid waste, and the fields thereof shall wax old, and her ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorns, because no man shall travel. So that's pretty much the state of how the earth is going to be, man. The earth is going to be in a bad situation, man. Number 33. The virgin shall mourn, having no bridegrooms. The women shall mourn, having no husbands. So the wives are going to mourn having the husbands. Husbands are going to mourn not having wives because you're going to have both genders in draft, man. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers, having no helpers, having no aides because they're not going to, um, they're going to be, they're going to be in war, man. They're going to be drafted, man. That's going to happen here. The scripture is telling you these things, man. That's 2nd Ezra, Psalm 16, man. And in wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed. So in wars, read that again. And in wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed. So they're going to be in war. Um, Revelations 11 and 14. Uh, Revelations 9 and 12. Uh, the first woe is past. And the second and third there, thereafter. Uh, paraphrasing. 
The second woe has passed, and the third woe cometh quickly, man. That's 11, 14 of Revelations, man. That's talking about missiles, man. So in wars, their bridegroom shall, their bridegrooms be destroyed, and their husband shall perish under famine. So famine, war, different other things that's going to happen, because it's going to it's going to be a lot of calamities happening in that time, man. But the point is, is the main part. In the war shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, man. So they're going to die of war. The bridegrooms are also the women, man. It's, 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 it's brutal. It's grim. But that's the reality of the scriptures, man. Let's continue on. Because in war, um, these nations are going to um, gonna go to um, Joel 3 a little bit. Before I go there, I'm going to go to um, Revelations. I'm going to go to Revelations uh, 1 and 9, 1 and 7. I'm going to go into... Um, Talking about um, Yahweh Shai and nations a little bit. Behold, he cometh with clouds. So he's going to come on the chariot, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him. Who pierced him? The Romans, man. But who precursively pierced him? Who, who offered him up? His own people, man. He said, let the blood be on our, our hands and our children's hands, which means re regeneration, because they are their children. They coming back fast forward uh, three, four generations that hated me, the scripture says. So they pretty much uh, marked the curse on themselves. So read that again. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. So every eye is going to see relating to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh on that giant cloud. And they also which pierce him, which are the Romans, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so are none. So all going to wail what they see, man. All going to uh, be in fearful sight of what they see. Their hearts shall stop for what they see, man. Because they're not expecting what they're expecting to see. <laughs> It's far from what they want to see, but in a matter of speaking, it's not what they expect, man. So it's going to be a different, it's going to be a, 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 a different, a lot of vibrant, a different um, set of pretty much uh, uh, mixed emotions, man, in a matter of speaking, for the, the things that's going to happen, man. Um, go to... Uh, I'm going to go to Joel um, 3. One of the, um, the men in the truth were going over um, Joel 3, the different translation, New Living Translation. And um, it's kind of cool interpretation. This is the um, New um, Living Translation. Because since uh, relating to war, the draft, um, say to the nations far and wide, get ready for war. So, in the scripture, prepare ye for war, man. These mighty men for war, man. Call out your best warriors, man. So the best warriors are going to be what? In fight, man. Preparing for battle. Let all your fighting men advance for attack. So they, they're going to plan to advance forward, move in motion to do battle, man. Hammer your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Train even your weaklings to be warriors. So, 
so that's funny. Uh, train even your weak list to be warriors. So you're going to have people that's going to be drafted from all different backgrounds, man. Some that shouldn't look like they'd be in the military, man. But they're going to be because it's going to come a time um, where they're going to need bodies relating to um, um, the draft, man. And um, the military's at a low rate as far as um, enrollment, man, because of... Uh, you know, people don't really want to deal with the military like that. Low is low enrollment. You know, the, um, the physical test. You know, people have trouble passing the uh, the physical assessment test, physical or the written test because of you know certain uh, high points you got to get and certain qualifications. So lucky for the noise. So and this generation, you know. It's going to be, it's going to be difficult for them to get in, um, you know, I mean, off it, plus their background and different things, man. Not being uh, physically uh, be able to, uh, you know, meet the requirements or, you know, also writtenly as far as the, um, the test go concerns and different things, man. So they, so the weaklings are going to be pretty much the regular civilians, man, that are not prepared for these kind of things, man. But they're going to be draft. That's why a draft or some kind of conscription, which is a, a military uh, form of a fancy word for draft, is going to be implemented, man. That will be implemented. Let's read that again. Train even your weaklings to be warriors. So your, your, um, your regular everyday Joe, Joe um, in the civilian world, he is going to have to be, learn how to be a warrior, man. Pot belly, uh, you know me, um, McDonald's eating, you know, you know, KFC potential, you know me. He's going to have to learn how to be a warrior. It's pretty much, um, um, need some potato chips and um, AR-15. Good luck. You can do it. Keep it moving. You know, I mean, something like that. You know, I mean, but so you're going to have people that that met both men and women that shouldn't be in there but they're going to be they're going to have to be in that in that line of fire in a matter of speaking man let's continue on Read it top. Say to the nations far and wide, get ready for war. Call out your best warriors. Let all your fighting men advance for attack. Hammer the plowshares and, and swords into pruning hooks, into spears, agricultural. Train even your weaklings to be warriors. Come quickly, all you nations everywhere, and gather together in the valley of Yahweh Shapat for, for the Lord that he has judged, man. So all these nations are going to gather to do battle with Yahweh Shem Yasha. So those, those, um, you know, those everyday uh, <laughs> the civilians you see walking, like you see here, some of them might be called um, being that front line. Man. Um, let's, con let's continue on. Ultimately, these nations are going to meet with Yahweh Shai, man, for battle, man. Second Ezra 13, 3, Behold, and lo, that a man waxed strong with thousands of heavens. And when he turned his countenance, which is his appearance, to look at all things, it trembled that were seen under him. So all these things that Yahweh Shai relate to his trembling, relate to his uh, countenance, all these things going to pretty much tremble, melt, man, at the presence, man. And whenever so the voice went out of his mouth, all, all they burned that heard his voice, like as earth faileth when it feels like fire, man. Pretty much that judgment, man. Because he's gonna, it's going to be chariots, um, 
inter, um, executing judgment and um, judgment that's going to become upon the inhabitants, man. And after after this, I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of the number from the four winds of the earth, these other nations, to subdue the man that came out of the sea. This is the man out of the sea, Yahweh Shai, to meet these what? These other nations, man. But I beheld, and lo, and he had graved himself a great mountain and flew upon over. That's the chariot. But I would have seen the re a region when the place where out the hill was graven, I could not see. And after this, I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue and were sore afraid. They were sore afraid, man, but the Lord put a spirit on them to basically fight them anyway, man. So they had to, man. And there are lace too up in the, uh, and um, I'll get that relating to Revelation 12 and 7. Um, and yet there's fight. So they're going to fight. They're going to be afraid, but they, the spirit's going to be put on to fight. And lo, he saw the violence of the multitude that came, neither lift up his hand, nor held the sword, nor any instrument. So uh, that will go with the Lord defeating them with ease, man, without even doing nothing, man. Because he don't. But only I saw that he was sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire. And that's pretty much the, um, those, um, that fire coming out from the chariots. Pretty much to zap the inhabitants on the earth, man. And out of his lips a flaming fire and out of his tongue a cast out sparks and tempests, man. They were all mixed together in the blast of the fire, flaming breath, and the great tempest and fell with violence upon the multitude which had prepared to fight. And that's these other nations, the inhabitants, and burned them up everyone so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude, nothing was able to be perceived. But only dust shall the smoke, only, only dust. Only dust and the smell of smoke when I saw I was afraid. This, so this was the vision that Ezra was just seeing relating to that war, man. The war in heaven, which will be pretty much the Earth's atmosphere, the exosphere, space to the, um, the pretty much in the sky, man. So you're going to look on the sky and see these things, man. Um, let me go to Revelations 12 and 7. in heaven, and Michael and his angels, Michael's the archangel, archangel of war, fought against the dragon, the dragon relating to his angels, the part of that dragon, part of the angels of the dragon is what? The military might, that's the hammer of the earth, the tool, instrument of cruelty, man. Read it again, and there was, and there was war in heaven, and Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought in his angels. So the good guys, evil, uh, the good guys versus the bad guys, man. Good versus evil, man. The red dragon, the one who took peace from the earth, right into Revelation 6 and 4. So his angels, his military might. 12 and 8, and he prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. Now, go compliment with um, Revel um, with Second Ezra thirteen, talking about you know, the Lord pretty much he decimated them with ease, man. And the great dragon was cast out, the old serpent, which is the devil, and the devil's a deceiver. 
deceiver goes to that deception because part of his witchcraft is the mastery of deception man I'm ready to go and the, and the great dragon was cast out and the old serpent called the devil and satan satan which um deceived the whole world how he deceived the whole world from the, his, his mastery of deception and delusion man to trick the uh, the masses of people man part of that is the technology and the great dragon was cast out an old serpent called the devil and satan which deceived the whole world he was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him so, the lord defeated him with um, ease man. the scripture talk about a cast in that lake of fire man So going back to what I was saying relating to uh, a, a military conscription which be, I believe, a draft, um, there's going to be one, you know what I mean? Because the numbers are low as far as enrollment, the military is scattered, dispersed and scattered thinly, and so they're going to need more bodies, man, especially if they can't get them on a natural level, man. They're going to have to, you know, that's where that, that draft going to come, man. Because they're going to need more, you know, more backup in that time. This was just a few scriptures relating to that. Hope it helps whoever listens. This is Zayah Wolf. Hope it helps. So wait, inshallah.